Okay, so the last piece of the puzzle in terms of introduction is plans for publication. Um, and this is, this is something where we figured, let's, let's have some fun. Something that's good for everybody is to publish your work. Um, but also, let's, let's push limits, okay? Let's, let's see how much we can get done in a week. Um, so we, we were talking about what could we get done in a week that would be a very concrete and interesting illustration of uh, essentially what we're accomplishing in these courses, or what you're accomplishing in these courses, really. Um, and so we started talking about how about a special issue of a journal? Um, and let's just say this has been a busy year. So we decided on contacting the editor-in-chief of a journal. My apologies that it's not uh, indexed, so it won't be of massive help to you in your career advancement. But it is an international peer-reviewed journal, uh, actively publishes, and is central to the field of biodiversity informatics. So that's my last apology for the journal, because it's a lot of work. Um, everything is completely open access, and there are no publication fees. So in that sense, it's a pretty unique journal. Um, just to give you an idea of how much citation attention the journal gets, indeed, we, this is out of Google Scholar, we have a bunch of papers that have seen you know, 50 to 100 citations. Um, so, and again, notice that they're all openly available. Um, and we've done a couple special issues in the past. Um, these were all uh, for the Global Biodiversity Informatics Facility, GBIF. Um, and essentially what they were doing was summarizing um, the work of task groups or, or kind of ad hoc committees that were assigned particular tasks. So this was one about uh, working towards demand-driven publication of biodiversity data. And here's one towards a global strategy and action plan for discovery and publishing of natural history collections data. So we've done these special issues before. Um, in fact, for this special issue, if anybody would like to design the cover, um, <laughs> that's certainly something that I can't do. Um, but essentially the idea is this list. Um, we have, we'll certainly assemble an overview paper. And those of you who were able to tune in to the, um, who were able to, pa to tune in to the YouTube uh, videos that we did in advance saw some very interesting kind of cross data set analyses coming out of Arturo's work with the spatial resolution. So we're going to develop some sort of kind of overview paper. Um, but then we have projects on the plants of the Cameroon Mountains, plants of Ivory Coast, edible insects of Zimbabwe, plants of Ghana, plants of Burundi, Rwanda, uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo, um, succulent plants of Kenya, plants of Benin, and wild palms of Benin. We need to talk with the Ugandan component because uh, we need to talk with you all about the data set that, that you've sent. Uh, and we were essentially getting on the plane, so, um, so I really didn't have a chance to look at the data set, but we can talk about that this afternoon. Um, but at least this list, and perhaps one more, Uganda, um, the idea is to take each of these data sets through a fairly standard set of analyses. It won't be identical, um, but the idea is to take them through a fairly standard set of analyses. Um, so what are we looking for? At the end of the process, these have to be full, mature, scientific manuscripts, and as such, they need to give a background, they need to describe the methodology, they need to describe the results, and they need to put the results in a good context of the broader scientific literature and the state of knowledge to date. Um, what we want each data set 
sorry, each publication to include is a description of data cleaning and data leaks that were encountered along the way. We want, to the extent possible, some sort of completeness analysis. We want the gap analysis in terms of geography and gap analysis in, in terms of environment. And then certainly each data set has interesting features that will warrant kind of individual attention. Okay? But that's, that's the idea of what will go into each um, analysis. And the idea is that we'll do all of this this week. Um, for guidance in preparing papers, actually the BITC already has a nice module on preparing scientific papers. Um, I originally developed it when I was on sabbatical in Brazil. And so the original version was eight hours of town talking in Portuguese, which was pretty, pretty tough on me because my Portuguese isn't as good as my Spanish is. Um, the first of the videos is this one, but we'll get you the links to, um, to the whole set. I need to put it together into a playlist. Um, but really, this module gives you a start to finish view of the process of publishing scientific papers. So it's the sort of thing where I've even started with my own students saying, OK, I don't like the figure you just sent me. Will you please go watch the video? And I'm sure they're thinking, would you please just explain to me what you don't like? Um, anyhow, that's the plan for kind of the end point of this. There are the girls. Oh, sorry. Um, there are the girls a year ago. And you can see, especially the little one, you see more difference. Um, but that's essentially what we're trying to do in this course.